Darling, did you pay your dues to the Zen Yogi Society? My dear, I'm a paid-up member. This is their latest position. Oh? Are you comfortable? Don't I look it? Of course. Is there anything new in the paper tonight? Oh, nothing much. A revolution in South America, a war in Asia, a flood. Oh, here's something. It says our friends Marty and Claude were sent up the river. Good. They needed a vacation. <laughs> Tish, Consolidated Plush just hit a hundred. Really? What did you pay for it, dear? Two hundred and nine. But these little fluctuations mean nothing. <laughs> Uncle Fester? Little Wednesday. That was quite a poop. Well, she's been such a good child lately. I thought I'd buy her a few fresh dynamite caps. Just a few. Of course, you can't spoil them. <laughs> well, the mail's in. Thing. Well, it's from Sergeant Haley. Oh, what's the poor devil have to say? Oh, he says he's fully recovered, and he's starting all over again as a junior detective in Wabash, Indiana. He needs more training. Well, there's a P.S. He wants us to send him his badge. Collect. Well, I guess we'll just have to give it to him. Mm -hmm. Now, which one was Sergeant Haley's? <laughs> Darling, are you sure that Zen Yogi exercise is good for your mind? Really keeps you on your toes. <laughs> Yes, I suppose it does. Anything interesting in the paper tonight, dear? Oh, nothing much. A few riots, a few revolutions. <laughs> oh, -ho! says here that Rocky's joined his father's firm. Oh, I do hope the work doesn't throw him. Don't worry, Kitty Amir. That's a boy with his feet firmly planted on the ground. <laughs> Just like you, darling. <laughs> Pleasant noise. What is it? That's what happens when you have a loose nut. <laughs> ah, here's a surprise. It says Dr. Black has quit. Quit? Why? Going back to school. <laughs> I think we should send him a present. The turtle. Oh, something better than that. Better than the turtle? <laughs> well, after all, he did give us our boy back. <laughs> You're not cheating. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hugsley. He's building Wednesday a little doll pump. <laughs> I think you see. Hello? Yes. Wonderful. Yes, the children will be in school tomorrow. Thank you. That was that nice Mr. Hilliard. He said the school board accepted our ideas enthusiastically. Really? Well, now, Mr. Hilliard may be right. We may have saved the world. Do you think we did the right thing? <laughs> That Zen Yogi is so interesting. Not only good for your feet, but your head, too. <laughs> That's right. It's really very cultural, isn't it? <laughs> Mama can have her painting. Painting? She's gotten Sue, Sue, Artie. 
She can't wait till you see it, Gomez. Very well. Hurry up. How are you? When the blazing sun has turned to mud, and the moon lies dead in a pool of blood, and the tom-tom beat of eternity starts, whom will I love in my heart of hearts? Morticia. Gomez, that's beautiful. That's such a perfect night for poetry. I just wanted to show you that Lionel's not the only one who can write poetry for you. Oh, Lionel. He couldn't hold a candle to you. Hmm. Perhaps we should let him try it sometime. Might be a fascinating experience. <laughs> no, he'd be too busy for that. Oh? Working night and day, poor chap. Those stocks his wife owns, down to nothing. Really? Oh, well, things like that don't matter. Not when you marry for love. <laughs> Darn nice of Ahmed Ben Pasha to send us this Turkish hookah. Does wonders for togetherness. <laughs> Mail's in. Thank you, Fing. There's 20 cents postage due. I wonder why Mr. Briggs didn't come in and get his money. He never does anymore. We must owe that man a fortune. <laughs> I notice it's from a rest home. It says, thank you. If it weren't for you people, I wouldn't be here. It's signed P.J. Hollister. I like a man who isn't too proud to be grateful. Yes. And it does make you thankful that our government men are so clever. Dear Mr. Hollister, we should send him something. I have it. Some of Mama's candy porcupine. Ah, uh, the simple things are the best. 